In this course we are going to use only sine, cosine and tangent values of some very limited uh, angles. Uh, these angles are um, pi over 6, that is 30 degrees, 45 degrees, pi over 4, 60 deg degrees, pi over 3 and 90 degrees. And sine for zero, for example, is equal to zero. Cosine is equal to one. And the tangents, which is equal to the to sine over cosine, is equal to zero in the case when the angle is zero. And all other table values you find in this table. By using this table you are able to find uh, sine, cosine and tangent values for many other uh, angles as well. Uh, let's give an example of this. Here you have the unit circle. The unit circle is describing uh, cosine and sine values. So, what you can see is that the cosine value here uh, is equal to the the x value or, or the the first component of this vector. So this point here is cosine sine, and the first component is cosine, and the second component is is sine, and uh, it's easy to see by using this unit circle that cosine of some uh, value with angle phi is the same value as cosine for a for the negative value which is is here. If we, for example, want to compute the value of cosine of 7 pi over 6, namely this angle from here to here. Then we can consider the, this uh, angle which is exactly the same as this angle pi over 6. And we note that cosine for this value must be exactly um, the opposite of the cosine value uh, on the other side of this unit circle. So what we see from the unit circle is that cosine of pi over 6 is just minus cosine of uh, 7 pi. Recall that this angle is pi. 7 pi over 6. Uh, so, since we are using the table values, we see that the cosine of this angle is minus pi, uh, minus uh, square of 3 over 2. And the sine of the same angle is minus uh, one half and this is due to the table values so it's very easy to see so we can using this unit circle we are able to find cosine sine and tangents values for many other uh, angles as well let's uh, turn to the definition of roots. The nth root of a complex number set is the complex number set zero defined by um, the, uh, the set of points which is satisfying this equation. So it's set to the power of n equal to set, set zero. So let's try to describe the set of these ant roots. If we let um, set be described in a polar form 
r multiplied with the exponential function of i phi um, and we let uh, set 0 be equal to r0 which is the absolute value multiplied with this exponential function where we have the argument value phi 0 um, then in order to obtain this equation we have to write this complex number we have to um, put this number in the power of n uh, resulting in this number so then we have r to the power of n multiplied with e uh, in i phi uh, n and this should be equal to this set zero which we already have defined in this way so we see that this real part the absolute value r in the power of n must be equal to set zero which we have written here and this guy must be equal to this guy which we have written here uh, note that um, and e I uh, this is equal only if the, these angles are different from a const uh, multiple value of two pi. So this condition must be satisfied. Uh, we note that r must be the square root of r0 which is a positive value so th that's for sure that's uh, easy to to know uh, but this is a little bit more tricky uh, identity here k is some integer and um, in order to find this phi, we, we want to find this angle phi, we have to multiply with, multiply with n, like this, and we have to consider several values of k, and it's in, uh, enough for us to consider the following values of a k, namely the four following n values k equal to 0, k is equal to 1, and up to n minus 1. Why is this? It is because when we, if we uh, use the, the nth value, uh, n plus 1 value, then we obtain the same value as we get when we use k equal to zero. So it's not necessary to use other values of k. So this gives, uh, this gives us uh, n different nth roots of set zero, which are described in a circle like this. And the radius of this circle is of course equal to the nth root of r1 uh, r0 where r0 is, is the absolute value of the complex number we are taking the nth, the nth root of set 0 in this uh, guy denotes all nth values nth roots of set 0 uh, this symbol just denote one single complex value which is just the square root the the nth root of r0 multiplied with um, the exponential function in the principal value of uh, of set 0 the principal argument of set 0 divided to n so uh, phi zero is just the principal v value of uh, of uh, this complex value we are taking the nth root of. 
in order to give some examples we um, we consider this find the the square root of just one uh, and the third root of one first we are describing um, one in the polar form one can be written as uh, one multiplied with uh, the exponential function of i multiplied with zero and then we use the above formula uh, we take the nth root nth root of uh, this um, absolute value um, and the nth root is just the square root in this uh, case and the square root of one is only one so that's very easy and we use the formula of exponential function of um, this guy which is the principal argument of of one multiplied with two pi k where k is some integer value divided to this n which in this case is equal to two and in this case it's it's only necessary to consider these two values because n is equal to 2 then we are considering two values of k namely 0 and 1 and inserting these two k values into this expression we obtain uh, these two values which are written in polar form but in rectangular form they are uh, certainly 1 and mon minus 1 and here we have um, illustrated these two points in the complex plane what about the third root we do exactly as above use the general formula but here n is equal to 3 so we have to consider three different values of k namely 0, 1 and 2 and we are inserting these three values into this gen general formula and obtain these three values which we can describe in a complex plane like this we have um, the, uh, the radius is equal to 1 in all cases and um, here is the first one alpha is equal to 0 here you see that the angle alpha is equal to 2 pi over 3 and here you see the angle is uh, 4 pi over 3 this is the angle so here we have uh, considered several uh, examples we have um, let's take another example of finding uh, the third root of minus 8i starting with writing this in polar form it's certainly minus uh, 8i it's equal to this 8 multiplied with exponential function of minus pi half multiplied with i just write this in the complex plane and you and you just illustrate this in the complex plane and you immediately will see that this is the polar form of it it's very easy to to see this and we use the general formula we have that uh, the third root of this is just the third root of 8 which is the absolute value here multiplied with the exponential function of i multiplied multiplied with this uh, angle minus pi over 2 plus 2 pi k over this n which is in this case equal to 3 and since n is equal to 3 we consider only 3 k values namely k equal to 0 1 and 2 and we insert these values into this formula and obtain three values and these three values are easily uh,
changed into rectangular form by using the above um, table values for sine, cosine, uh, to um, pi uh, uh, over 6 and using the unit circle as I mentioned earlier. And um, this gives us these three roots. We can we don't see this as easily on the rectangular form, but on this polar form, we easily see that uh, they can be illustrated in the complex plane as these three points. <laughs>